Hi all, welcome back. Uh, today in this module we will be talking about a passive buzzer. In the previous module we spoke about a buzzer, right? So that is what was the active buzzer. Active buzzer basically uh, is a buzzer which will, uh, based on the uh, uh, based on the signal you provide, it will internally oscillates and it will generate a a a, 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 a sound or a buzzing sound. Whereas a passive buzzer is more, uh, it is a cheaper version. Okay, so you have to provide an alternate um, uh, 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 voltage to generate a sound. Okay, so that is the difference between an active buzzer and a passive buzzer. So uh, let me just quickly uh, read out the definition. An active buzzer, okay, will generate a tone using an internal oscillator. So basically, what happens within a buzzer is you have it is made of a certain material so once you pass a, a, an a, a electric or, or you once you pass a dc signal uh, the voltage it will internally oscillate the material and it will generate a sound whereas a passive buzzer requires an ac signal to make a sound it is like an electromagnetic speaker where a changing input signal produces the sound rather than producing a tone automatically okay so we will quickly see that how how what we have done Okay, so this is a part of the program code. Uh, so I have a, a buzzer which is I am connecting it. Uh, the output is connected to a pin number eight. Okay, uh, so basically what is happening over here is I am passing on this pin. Okay, a signal. Okay, uh, basically I am varying the signal. So basically tone is a function that will generate a tone based on uh, uh, on a signal which is being provided so i'm providing a, a frequency of 20 into 25 that is on the minimum to maximum of 2400 okay and then again this is a kind of a, a, a delay uh, not a delay a kind of a, a threshold which goes into the tone okay so let me just show you what goes into the tone function okay tone function okay Right. So um, let me just quickly show you the tone. So tone takes the uh, three parameters. Uh, two are mandatory. Third one is uh, not mandatory. Okay. So let me just see, see, see. Okay. Okay. So it takes a pin, frequency, and the duration. Okay. So basically, duration is the duration of the tone in milliseconds. Okay. Then frequency is the frequency. Okay. And the pin at which it has to generate that tone. Okay. So that is what it is, uh, the duration. And then I have again provided a delay of uh, this thing, uh, 20 uh, millisecond. And then what I'm doing is, so basically this will increase the frequency and then here I am reducing my frequency, okay? So here I'm starting uh, with 120 and then reducing it till, uh, to 500. Okay, so 2400 to 500, okay? So right now uh, I have not been connected. Uh, I have uploaded the code though, but I have made disconnected my pin. Okay, so I'll just connect this pin and it will start generating. So now connected. Now you start hearing the sound. Okay. So now it is connected. Let me see. So it should. So now you start hearing the sound. So what it does right it will basically uh, increase the frequency and then decrease the frequency okay right now i'm not connected to a vcc let me just connect to that vcc though it's a optional to connect but i'll just connect it okay so now it started making a sound right it will increase and then it will decrease it will increase and then it will start decreasing okay so this is all about the passive sensor and we will meet for the next set of uh, videos and next set of sensor in the next video thank you for joining the session